Belgrave Square, London. During the day, the embassies and consulates here buzz with diplomatic activity. But it is by night that number 33 comes to life. For this is the headquarters of the Spiritualist Association of Great Britain. Every room is alight with the hopes of the faithful. To draw portraits of dead people, psychic artist Coral Polge needs the right connection. We're little more than a telephone line. Answer up because that strengthens the contact so much. Many of our spirit friends have never done this sort of thing before. They don't often get the chance to have their pictures drawn. So I know sometimes you're nervous, but I'm sure sometimes they are nervous. Now, my first problem always is to sort out the people I'm drawing. Quite a young link here. I've got a boy killed in an accident, went over quite suddenly. Oh, stay calm, lad. I've got one of these links that... Oh, I don't know what happened to him, but it's a dreadful feeling that I've shot into the next world. All right, if, if they get too excited, I end up with a load of scribble if I'm not careful. I'm being drawn. There's a lady there, you've got a blue, sort of blue color on there. Do you have a brother in the spirit world? No. 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 I know someone who passed through the, <coughs> into the spirit world, a young man. Do you remember yeah. his hairstyle? Yes. Did I it grow it was rather like, like that. that. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. He calls it a bit like a Busby. You know, it's sort of the hair that stood up rather. You know what Busby yes, looked it like? Did. Yes. Well, yeah. that's slightly exaggerated, but it's that sort of style. I, I might get him right now, because I wasn't happy when I started. He, the head condition was making me go all off balance, and I couldn't see what I was drawing. That's better. You'll remember him sticking his hands in his pockets, won't you? I do. Yes, yes. because he yes. said if there's one thing you often told him about, take your hands out of your pockets. You do look <laughs> slummocky or slouchy sort of thing. And there's also his nose. He says, good size, isn't it? Yes, it was. You used to tell good... me I had yeah. a big nose. Yes, it was. He said, I'm glad she's not drawing my feet, though. They're pretty big feet. They was big feet, yeah. <laughs> yes. And he says, you know, I didn't think being in the spirit world would be so much fun. <laughs> Obviously, one thinks of a young man like that passing so suddenly. Tragic. But he said, oh, I don't mind at all. It's great fun over here. I can do anything I like. It's, it's, uh, it's terribly strange. That is my sister. Because... Everything fits. She was only 40 odd and she actually took her own life. I mean, it's not a perfect life, but it's all there. I just feel very shaken and very moved that, that she should want to contact me. This is definitely a picture of my father, and this would be a picture of him in the last two or three weeks of his life on Earth. With their portraits packed away, the spiritualists move on to sample the other attractions, like sand reading. Here, handprints seem to allow the spirits to provide, through the medium, amazing insights into the characters of the sitters. <clears throat> Looking at this sand, I realise that the person concerned has, over a period of years, passed through many upheavals. Your son tells me that you've always been very domineering, obstinate, and brave. Even the flower you bring seems to reveal your secrets to the spirits. Now, if I just explain a little that this leaf is telling me this, I see that you have a very fine sense of humor. You can speak to somebody who would be a little bit uneasy and nervous and get them laughing, get them speaking quite naturally. So <laughs> and the pets at the psychic surgery have been brought from miles around by owners who are convinced that the spirits can work miracles. Yeah, because it's like patches. He was blind. They said he'd never see, actually. And uh, he went for contact healing twice. And then recently, we've had, since absent healing, we've had confirmation that, yes, he's got tunnel vision and his vet thinks he's quite incredible and it's quite a miracle. And in Danny's The people who try to establish contact between the living and the dead are called mediums. To master the techniques of mediumship, apprentices need years of training in development classes. We're going through these psychic centres. We're going to open up those centres starting with the emotional solar plexus, 
the spleen and the heart centers. Feel that power coming up. Now bring it up to your throat. And now the clairvoyant eye between your eyebrows. Once prepared, trainees are invited to try out their powers. Your mother's telling me that you have three brothers. No. OK. How did you get it? Um. You didn't bring it out, I didn't, did you? Did I? No. You I see, didn't. always accept, dear, that if you if something occurs, an error, yes. then in some way you've not used your mechanism properly or you've interfered mentally or something. Right. But never let it pass. Go back. Thank you.